Hi, my name's Pete Rayford, and I'm going to be showing you how I turn this into this. Okay, so here's the back gate into the garden, and here's my 16 feet by 5 feet shed that I built last year. And you can probably see my observatory in the background there. Yes, I'm an amateur astronomer. Um, so, in we go. As you can see, it's quite long, but it's quite narrow as well. As I say, 16 feet by roughly 5.5 feet in its present form. That's using the recesses. And yeah, I want to turn this into a woodworking studio so I can do some YouTube videos for you guys. I put some overhead storage in just to couple of weeks ago and it's helped to get stuff up above out of the way you can never have enough storage so my original idea was to insulate the top end of the shed and move everything down to the other end of the shed and then vice versa and it quickly became apparent that this wasn't going to work and I can't put all this stuff in the house, so I had to bite the bullet and empty all of this into my van on the driveway. Before I did that though, I had the hindsight, as you can probably see to the left in this picture, to go and buy some plasterboard and some insulation, basically stuff that I would need the van for before I filled it with all this stuff. It took me a day, maybe more, to empty all this into, into my van. And then it took me another day to take all the shelves down and remove the units and basically anything that was bolted onto the shed so that I could um, get to insulate it without any obstructions and, and put the, um, the plasterboard in. I had to take the lights down as well. Of course, any electrics that I put in all had to come away so that I could carry on with this job. A bit sickening really because I, I did all the all the shelving just a few weeks before. So I scoured Marketplace for um, some cheap insulation um, and plasterboard but as soon as these things come on they're snapped up pretty quickly. Uh, I ended up getting some 50mm um, Acoustic wall uh, insulation for stud walls, which um, obviously helps to uh, dampen sound. And I got some 100 millimeter for the roof because the timbers in the roof are three inch, so they, they'll compact to, to 75 millimeter, no problem. The plasterboard I had to get from a local builder's yard because I just couldn't find any on Facebook in any decent quantity and I needed 13 8x4 sheets uh, to complete this project. Total cost was around 200, 220 pounds roughly. see starting to empty out now and taking the shelves down. I've got all the plasterboard now in the shed to keep them dry as the 
rain. Down come the lights, down come the cross beams that are supporting most of the shelving. And more stuff going out to the van on the driveway. All the shelving down now. Still got to remove the units. Let's say 100 millimeter in the roof. Really coming along now. I had to keep going out to the driveway to cut these panels because there's no room in the in the shed to, to be cutting eight and four panels. I'm just finishing off the ceiling and then back onto the sidewalls. The 50 millimeter insulation for the sides came in. I think it was 25 meter rolls. And they cost me 30 pounds a roll, so I spent 60 pounds on those. The roll of insulation I bought for the roof only cost me a tenner. So 70 pounds on insulation. And then I think the plasterboard was around 13 pounds a sheet which I bought 13 of. I'd say the main aim of this is not really for warmth, although that's going to be a big help when the weather does turn nasty soon. Our beautiful weather here in the UK, um, but to keep sound in, to stop the sound from escaping because I've got some noisy tools like a table saw and a plane of thicknesser, sanders, etc, etc, and um, I'm just trying to save my neighbours from some noise basically, and my own family of course. So I took some sound readings before. I uh, completed this project and inside uh, I think the noisiest tools that I have are the, are the table saw and the plane of thicknesser. Um, the table saw was registering around I think it was 95 decibels on a, an app I downloaded off the Google Play Store onto my phone and the plane of thicknesser I think was 115 so I took readings with uh, both of those machines, as I say, inside and then walked around the shed with the door shut, um, both in the alleyway to the side of the house and outside the windows, down the bottom end of my driveway, down the bottom end of the garden and took readings uh, with and without the machine running. And outside it was registering, registering around um, 60 decibels, 60 to 70 decibels. Um, immediately outside the shed, which is the, the level of a normal conversation, which isn't too bad, but if it's prolonged sound like that, I'm not happy to subject 
um, my immediate neighbours to that um, constant noise. So my aim in this um, with this project was to just reduce it a little bit. And there you can see I've, I've finished uh, finished installing all the insulation and plasterboard now. Okay, there you go. Ceiling, all the walls have now been plasterboarded and I've sealed in the cracks just to try and contain some of the, the noise I'll be making in here. It's taken a while, but I think the end result is good because I can hear my voice echoing, which has to mean there's some soundproofing in here. It's preventing some sound from getting out. So the proof will be in the pudding when I plug some of the tools in later today, hopefully, and, and have a listen outside. Ruin the floor. Poor floor, look. <laughs> At this point, I'm thinking, I hope this works. It's, it's a big waste of money. Ah, Vegas, there's one for you. Little private joke there. 155. You've got it. Mm -hmm. A friend came round and said, are you going to bother painting? I said, no, no, it's just a shed. Here's my mitre saw in the driveway, making a lovely mess. And there's my van full of everything that was in the shed. I decided to build my um, workbench before painting, which I said I wasn't going to, but I had to. <laughs> I just thought it's a shame to do all this work and then not paint it. Not sure what drove me to paint it blue. He's got his happy, he's whistling, do you hear that? I filled in all the cracks between the plasterboard with just tile ground because it's I've always found that a, a cheap way of doing things, cheap and easy way because it's ready mixed and it's, oh, it's 10 pounds for a big five kilo uh, tub so I just uh, used a spatula in that and just uh, filled in all the gaps because I don't want any sound escaping. I also did all the way around the windows as well with some sealant and then went over the sealant and boxed it in with some uh, I'll grab as well. Not much more of this. I'm just showing this end wall that I painted and I won't subject you to the rest. Okay, that's all the supports in for the shelves. I have had enough for today. So it was at this point I realised uh, I'd missed a, just one piece of the support framework for the shelf, which I did the following morning in this next clip you'll see. Ta da! <laughs> this is the end result, which you'll see in uh, a lot of my videos. I quite often have this camera angle because that's where the bulk of my tools are up on the wall there, and um, it's just the, the best angle in the shed to, to film from. So yeah, I painted all in blue. Um, I did some measurements on on the uh, decibels app that I have on my phone and found that when the planar thickness was running, um, immediately outside the door and the windows, I'd, I'd managed to uh, drop the noise level by around 10 decibels, but round the sides and the back of the shed where the windows aren't and the, the, the door isn't there, um, the sound was reduced significantly down uh, a full 20 decibels. So I was really happy with the end results, and that's mainly just for insulating with 
um, 50 millimeter insulation in the, the two inch stud walls and and four inch insulation in the in the roof. So the, the normal levels outside on a normal day on a quiet day are around 30 decibels and I'd managed, um, managed to reduce all the sound down to 50 decibels. So it's only slightly higher and it really is it's not noticeable at all. So very happy. And it enables me to now do some woodworking in here and record videos and you know largely unmolested and I'm very happy with the end result. So thanks for watching. Sorry it's a bit long and uh, it drags out in places. Um, but it's uh, it's it's how I managed to do this. Um, I lost my father last year, and I've always wanted to do some YouTube work from home, and this seemed like the logical step to do it. Um, it was uh, losing my father that gave me a bit of a kick to to get things done in life that you want to do. Hence this undertaking. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.